realized something today, and that's this, that the um, correlation of um, deer tick infestation that's going on in the United States is probably directly related to um, weed killers and uh, agrochemicals, pesticides. Um, and the reason why is this, is basically what's happening is this, is that the worms are consuming the pesticides, as I've talked about before and I've done a video on that, right? Basically, pesticides are not uh, designed to hurt earthworms, because if they did, we would destroy agriculture as we know it. Agriculture is based on the foundation of earthworms who create soil. Without earthworms, you can't have agriculture, okay? So number one is uh, these systemic pesticides are neurotoxins because worms don't have a neuro system, right? They're more, they're, they're more primitive than insects. So what's happening is, as I've shown another video down here, is that the worms, you know, come out, um, they, they gorge themselves on, on pesticide and weed killer and all this other nice stuff. And they, they go, oh, it's cold, it's cold, let's go on the road where it's warm. And the bird, the robins are sitting around going, oh, look, there's a worm. And they don't know that it's gorged with pesticides or, you know, a whole bunch of, uh, you know, a, a bomb. It's a, it's, a, it's a, and what happens to the birds? They die. Now, they don't die as quickly as before, but um, what happens with pesticides is one is they've shown in um, frogs that they promote the creation of estrogen estrogen so basically the and they decrease testosterone so what happens is number one the males become infertile right they have less eggs uh, you know they actually they're not even interested in, in other birds they even may become gay right they do in frogs you can watch that video on that uh, the research on that um, and uh, pesticides and also roundup promote you know estrogen creation in in uh, in, in uh, you know birds and reptiles and mammals whatever you know number two um, so the birds die so what happens then well all of a sudden you don't have birds eating deer ticks and other things so we start having an epidemic in which we if you do if you do any research on the internet you'll know that there's a deer tick epidemic. Basically, in some place in the United States, you cannot walk out and go into your yard without getting jumped on by a tick. It's that bad. Again, you know, Roundup is a weed killer. Pesticides um, usually don't spray on lawns, right? Um, and uh, so lawns and other places where there are no pesticides become, a, you know, a breeding pad for these... Uh, um, disease carrying insects. As you can see, it's a cycle. Not only that, it kills the bees. Bees die, for, you know, it, it just it compounds and compounds the situation. It's, it's really simple. What we need to do is stop using pesticides. It's that simple. It really is. If you know someone using pesticides, if you know someone using Roundup, just stop, 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 stop. We got to get the word out and before it's too late. And, and I think, for example, in Japan and other places where you see trees dying and everything else, I really think the bee movie is here. I really think the end of bees is here in Japan. Um, and, um, you know, I think the um, solitary bee, the, the 20,000 plus solitary bees uh, species as a, in general around any place where there's pesticides have been decimated. Because bees, what they do is they go and pick up the water, right? They need water, they drink water, and, and, and they take it back to their hive or they drink it themselves and, and it ends up killing them. Because, see, um, unlike birds and others that actually have a little bit, have a, I don't know if birds have a detox gene, but I know in, uh, insects don't, uh, bees don't have the detox gene. So birds will slowly, slowly get sick, they'll weaken and everything else and finally die. Insects pretty much die, right? Feed it, drink it, die, or, or they get weakened and, and things like mites and other things take over. So everything comes down to one thing, agrochemicals that we need to stop using. I haven't even talked about the creation of super, you know, um, um, insects and other things that are coming out 
uh, these super insects are, you know, are, are, are going to mean that we have to come up with stronger pesticides, which means we're going to kill more of the good things. It's just a vicious cycle. The thing is, what's really sad is that um, Rachel Carlson in the 1960, 1962 wrote about this. And she brought about the environmental movement and then, you know, within 10 years after her death and everything else and Reagan came in, they, uh, they sacked the EPA, fired 24 directors, uh, introduced the lobbyists and, you know, we lost control of the com com country in the 1980s. And as a people, it's, you know, the country now is run by these large corporations, these banks, Wall Street in general. And unless we as a, as a citizen group, you know, um, take action, you know, we are pretty much screwed.